Hello and welcome to another Python Wagtail open source web development hangout. Previously I've been working on unit tests. Today I'd like to improve those unit tests. This is the tedious process we have to have Docker running, Docker containers running Postgres. I'll get a coffee while this is starting. I guess that's one perk. So yeah, still gonna wait. I don't think I wanna wait every time I run tests. That's the key thing is this, that waiting, if it was just in a deployment process, you know, that's not a big deal. Or when I'm running an initial um, uh, development environment to get started for the day or week or however often I need to run those migrations, those aren't bad. But when I'm cycling on these test cases, I'm running these over and over and over um, granted, I'm now able to use a debugger, but I had to write a management command that essentially simulated my test cases, and I'd just rather run the tests. Uh, that's that's the problem. That's where the migrations start to become painful. It takes time. I don't know what it is in big O notation, what's just N1 or whatever, something like that. Big O linear time. O N time, uh, it's a log. Yeah, yeah, it's just O N time. So yeah, still gonna wait. I don't think I want to wait every time I run tests. That's the key thing. Is this that waiting? If it was just in a deployment process, you know, that's not a big deal. Or when I'm running an in initial um, uh, development environment to get started for the day or week or however often I need to run those migrations, those aren't bad. When I'm cycling on these test cases, I'm running these over and over and over. Um, granted, I'm now able to use a debugger, but I had to write a management command that essentially simulated my test cases, and I'd just rather run the tests. Uh, that's, that's the problem. That's where the migrations start to become painful. A squash. I want to just squash them all. Yeah, these start to add up. Each one of them, even if it only takes a fraction of a second, well, they're cumulative. Some of them are slightly more complicated, I suppose. I don't know. There's probably some proportionality to the operations that a migration is doing and the time it takes. I mean, it's, I, it, I think everything has to be at least linear time. You can't, I mean, I don't know. There's like, I don't know much about big O notation, but I don't know if there's like sublinear time. Or some kind of a, I don't know. I'll have to read more about that. In other words. Hmm. Well, they have log time, which would be kind of sublinear, right? Log logarithm goes like that. An exponential. So yeah, I don't know what, the, what I'm trying to say. Where the slope is less than one? Well, like that's what a logarithm does. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know much about math even. Algebra. I need to polish up my worldly knowledge. Logarithm goes like that. An exponential. So yeah, I don't know what the what I'm trying reset to reset the database. Oh actually actually then I needed to not not tear that down. I'll just put in the daemon or the background or run it in the background. Now I can run my um, manage pi. Uh, reset. Rest. Reset database. That'll kind of drop all the tables. And now Let's see how long these migrations take.
Well, over 40 seconds, like 45 seconds. Boing. Well, well then. Do we keep the squash migrations? I don't know. I don't know. I thought we can preserve this. The whole driving desire for this was to reduce the migration time. It still takes 45 seconds to run them on my local computer, so that didn't really uh, amount to much, the squashing. It still has to run all these operations. There's internal migrations that I can't uh, control, the wagtail migrations and other packages that I'm relying on. They're not squashing understandably because they've got downstream projects depending on them um you know maybe it's good housekeeping to have fewer migrations but the django documentation points out uh it's going to be nominal or very marginal the the gains you will get from them there's some linear time that's going on with the operations and the amount of time they take i don't know the exact graph of that time but they you know they're additive they add up some operations are faster than others i imagine but computing takes time so i'm on the fence as to whether i keep this yeah it's 9 15 though so time for day job so yeah i hope things like uh Stack Overflow and the great uh, community stay around in this post or this LLM era, large language model era. Although I am curious how rapid of an answer I would have gotten from a large language model and avoid things like down votes or scolding for not or for asking duplicate questions and things like that. There's trade-offs, there's trade-offs. But nonetheless, these large language models are learning from us. So we need the input, we need the community. It is foundational, so let's not, let's be careful, let's not destroy that. I'll, I'll vote the question as well. All right, thanks for your time. Hope you're doing well out there and have a great day.